Good morning, everyone. This is Mihai from PrisonTips.com. Can you guys hear me? All right, so you're looking at an analysis I sent on uh, Monday on uh, pound dollar. I have um, opened a uh, live data box for uh, pound dollar for free this week. So you can check it out on the website. Basically, um, this is just meant to complement the live system and to give some expectations of where the say the key levels are for this week. Now, um, I'm not going to redraw the waves since we have um, everything already here. So just explaining a bit what um, this analysis was all about. All right. Now, this actually the direction, the bearish direction of this um, red uh, formation. Okay. You can see the red waves right here. I um, don't want to make any assumption at this point whether we're looking at uh, an extensive uh, bearish wave or just a retracement. But it's uh, not that relevant um, as we speak. I think more important is the fact uh, that we confirmed this wave by a breach of the trend line. Here you go, right here, and this horizontal level, actually. OK. Then we had a retracement. Let me uh, zoom in. A retracement, a retest of the same trend line, and price stayed actually below the 78% of the first drop, the first red wave. Now this is what gives me this um, aggressive bearish outlook from this 157.20 level. Now my idea on Monday was um, to actually try to aggressively short um, pound dollar around 157.20, 157, which is not too far away from where price is right now. Okay. Uh, in view of another drop, but this was not a confirmed move. It's still not confirmed. Okay? It's the aggressive 78% entry. I think uh, it's easier to see on the 4-hour chart. Alright. Now, the idea is I just drew the first formation, the first red wave and the blue waves inside, and I noticed the 5 wave formation. Then I noticed the break of the trend line right around here and the break of the horizontal um, level, a key level right here. Okay, previous support, previous resistance, now again support. Okay, and probably uh, a level that we should look for today uh, for support. Uh, it's right where we are right now, actually, 56, uh, 40 something. All right. And I was looking for a possible ABC correction. Now, as you can see, there isn't a very clear ABC. You can actually um, take this as a wave B and the move up as a wave C. I was more interested in the level. So I was pointing out towards this 78% um, as an aggressive uh, level to short. Okay, And basically, it's just here where price would tell us that things are not working out right here around 158.80. That would mean 78% is broken and price is settled uh, at this um, above this uh, 158. Well, that would be, uh, sorry, uh, 157.50. So we're talking only about 40, 50 pips um, risk margin. Okay. When you are entering like this, the aggressive short um, are meant, why is it aggressive? Because you're not looking at what the market is doing at the time when price hit 78. You're basically shorting because price has hit this level and you are expecting it to be an absolute top. Okay? Your price should not really go anywhere beyond this point. So this is why it's worth taking a trade against the trend, basically. It's against the short term um, a trend. Because the risk reward is very good. If you are right, then you're able to keep the position open um, with stop at break even or very close to break even for the entire move down towards 154, maybe even 153. If not, then you get stopped out for a minimum 30, 40 pips. So basically, you're, you're aiming for about 200, 250 pips, maybe even more, with a risk of 50 pips or less. Okay, so it's the risk reward that makes this a good um, a good entry. Well, in this case here, seems like indeed we had a bounce. Many times you don't have this bounce. So I think the probability is about 50% or maybe even less 
but it's still working out um, in your favor if you manage to um, score a 50% probability on these trades because the risk reward is um, hugely in, in, in your favor and you only need one or two uh, wins for every let's say five to six losses to uh, cover for those losses uh, comfortably and even make profit okay uh, sometimes you're actually entering at the beginning of a big move so things can uh, get uh, even sweeter but we're just talking now about a smaller uh, short-term um, uh, wave okay now what we have so far now this is how it should look if we are to actually be more accurate but I didn't want to place the waves like this because it's quite hard to notice um, the formation okay but it makes sense basically A and C are about the same length and it has the the um, feel the look and feel of a, of a corrective wave now all we need is to see some acceleration on the current formation now I think this 156 40 156 20 level would, would be uh, decisive today for GU and if indeed we um, we race um, uh, lower to uh, 154 153 then we will have to see a major uh, breakout here and uh, accelerated price action starting uh, with 156 okay as this important previous support previous resistance previous support level will break and give way for uh, fresh load okay I find this to be a strong midterm resistance it's uh, based on horizontal level okay you can see how price actually was resistance here before and it's the 78 percent of a of a major um, a daily move okay that's why I see it as a midterm resistance I wanted to make it clear actually in the report that this is not a short term because price is very close to this level when I published this report okay and this was the alternative um, scenario long when we see that 5750 is taken out and I was looking at 15880 and eventually even 161 okay let's see how this looks um, if we zoom in now we don't really have so uh, strong um, confirmation uh, yet um, we do actually don't have any confirmation we do not have uh, another move up that would make a lower high and then a break of the previous low that would make the lower low to uh, confirm this formation okay um, on top of that we have actually this level this 5640 which is still support on the hourly chart I would not consider this to be a breakout unless we break seriously uh, lower uh, on this candle there is some support here that's pretty clear okay and this level was actually the confirmation on the other side it would be the break of the 78 percent of this way okay as the market confirms and it's not yet the case but as the market confirms the short okay you move to analyzing this wave this will become the previous wave 78 percent is right around here and 15520 should not be hit if it is then probably are looking at a breakout and long term if this breakout occurs I didn't want to um, project any long-term target to beyond 15480 because right now I think we're still it's still very early and I it might go beyond the scope of this week it's already Wednesday and um, we're at 15640 so there's really no point uh, to talk about that right now but if we see uh, 15480 right should go lower and I would look for a 78 percent of this way one moment here you go um, 15390 okay I would look for the final uh, frontier here on this um, on this wave 15390 but again it's not relevant for short-term trading and it's not definitely not relevant for uh, even for midterm right now because price has not even confirmed the, the downside just yet now if on the other side we break this 
157.20, 157.50, then the formation, the bullish formation would have, would uh, continue to, to look like an ABC. And the breakout at 157, um, I would say 157.70 uh, might be aggressive because what looks now as a drop would look, would, would be then a wave to corrective. Now you do not know yet, that's why I'm saying it's not confirmed yet, uh, but if price hits uh, 157.20, even right now, it doesn't have to go any lower. But if it just goes uh, about 80 pips from here, then uh, the short uh, plan um, fails, at least temporarily, and we're looking for more upside. 158 and 161 eventually. 161 is a bit of a far away target. I definitely don't see it uh, happening this week, even if uh, the bulls step in uh, aggressively here. But, well, it's the midterm um, uh, logical uh, target of the 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 started at this point right here. Okay, let's see what the rainbow has to say. All right, as you can see, it's an hourly um, rainbow level. So this is something to, to keep in mind. Um, Whenever the market hits the bottom or the top of the rainbow on any time frame, expect reaction. Okay, 56, 39. It doesn't necessarily have to be right at this very moment because there's still 50 minutes from the current uh, hourly candle and price can travel another 20 pips easily and still come back to close above uh, the 200 moving average, which is the bottom of the rainbow at this point. But careful if we, uh, if indeed we find some support here. Okay, four hour chart looks like a bullish rainbow that's now in consolidation. So one more argument to be careful about the shorts. All right, it's a bullish rainbow aligned with a strong pullback at this point. And if 15620 fails, there will be a 15594 uh, to support the pair further. Let's see on the daily. On the daily, we're still bearish, uh, but we haven't confirmed price. is not out of the rainbow just yet, but we hit this uh, area of resistance. And if you remember, guys, we were talking about this, I think, two weeks back when price was attempting uh, here at this uh, area of resistance. And we saw that the top of the rainbow was the, the blue moving average. As you can see, the MAs are slowly going down, and eventually, if price continues to stay here, uh, the 200 MA will uh, become the highest uh, moving average. Hi there, Rocky. All right. Let's see the 30-minute chart. <clears throat> wow, this looks pretty good. Um, first breach of the bottom of the rainbow happened, I think, a few hours back, pull back, and right now we're attempting again at the same uh, 5630, 5620 level. Okay, it looks like a confirmation, but uh, this is the hourly uh, rainbow that still keeps us somewhat um, restricted to the downside right now. 15 minutes is probably clearly bearish. Here it is. I was short on um, on GU based on this and another um, system that I'm using, but it's basically um, based on the rainbow. Okay, and the live system, which also confirmed short uh, five six. Uh, 65 I think somewhere within this candle okay a breakout and then um, re-entry or well entry or re-entry point uh, at the pullback here you go re-entry opportunities around uh, 5660 uh, short term looks very nice for short very, very good. Still um, a, a good um, bearish rainbow on 15 minutes chart, 30 minutes chart. And if it breaks on a, on a one hour chart, then it might look um, good for short uh, for the rest of the day. Remember, guys, that um, it's the 4th of July today. And uh, since the U.S. market is, um, is closed, you can expect uh, either... Um, a very calm market or some really weird surprises. So I suggest you be ready for both. Um, 
on low liquidity, it's usually what happens. Either the market just cools down and price action is um, restricted to just a small range of um, 20, 30 pips, or there is some aggressive moves on one side or the other and on low liquidity uh, that can take a pretty ugly shape. So be, be prepared for both. I tend to think uh, we will have a quiet uh, day today, but well, you never know. All right, let's see. So what is the rainbow suggesting at this point? I would say, guys, uh, if you want a full agreement from the rainbow, you would have to wait for an hourly close below 156.30. That would break the, bot the bottom of the rainbow temporarily and make room for this move from the bottom of the rainbow in one hour to the bottom of the rainbow in four hours, while the 15 minutes and 30 minutes and, of course, the five minutes agree to this scenario. Okay? Right now, it looks bearish, and I would rather pursue the bearish direction based on the 15 minutes chart, but careful, and I would say um, keep your risk limited to 5.665. That's a 25 pips risk, no big deal. So in case things are not working out, um, you will not lose much. But on the other hand, the problem is you might be shorting exactly um, at the support point because these um, one-hour rainbows tend to be um, reliable support uh, points. So I wouldn't be too aggressive. That's what that's mainly the idea at this point. Because it will need time to, to develop a move. And unless you're going for a quick 10 pips or 15 pips, there might not be um, the right time given the holiday in the U.S. I think the U.S. market is opening in about uh, 45 minutes, if I'm not mistaken. So, um, well... It's just a question of, of timing, that's all. Technically, it looks good. Now, um, some of you guys who checked out the um, live trading system um, last week told me that, well, um, when you see the, the actual levels and you see the, the signal, you're tempted to just trade the signal itself. And I always say that it's important to know that um, the live trading system is giving you a signal to buy or to sell while the conditions are are met. And that means you have to know where is the limit of your trade, of your, of your setup. Okay. For instance, right now, with this short setup, you would have to know what would be the limit on each time frame. 30 minutes telling you the limit is right here, okay, at 5680. 15 minutes is telling you that the limit is exactly at the same level. Okay, as you can see, so 5680 becomes an important level already because of these two uh, time frames, and the one hour is telling you the same thing. Okay, one hour, 30 minutes, 15 minutes, all of them have the top of the rainbow at 5680. So that gives you one of those interesting confluence of levels. Um, these confluences of, of support or resistance levels tell you that it will be a very likely bounce or strong breakout at this point. So if you are shorting, there's really no, no point in shorting beyond the breakout at this point. If it breaks out, then you would want to reverse because most likely you're looking at something good here. Okay, if it breaks out. If not, then you would want to short against this ceiling. It should become a ceiling um, 5679. Okay, I think that's basically what we're looking at right now on uh, on GU. Um, for me, longs are not interesting unless it uh, breaks 157.20. In that case, yes, I would probably uh, go in uh, for a midterm uh, move to 159, 160. And since uh, we will be um, looking at a move up and a correction, I think it will look pretty good at that point. Until then, I will continue to be uh, bearish on this pair. Okay, here's the trend line. Here's the key level on the rainbow. 156.80. Important level for short-term trading. You see how the top of the rainbow is not the 200 moving average. It doesn't have to be. Sometimes it is, sometimes it's not. You see here? 
uh, basically we are in a bullish rainbow but still the top of the rainbow is um, giving you um, a resistance because price is very close to the bottom right now 30 minutes actually you see 200 MA is at 72 but uh, the actual top is 79 and the 15 minute chart indeed is the 200 moving average all right so um i think this is it for um for gu any questions guys so far regarding um, pound dollar all right we can proceed to um looking at uh, pound yen we're starting as always i'm just going to do a quick um analysis based on um on the rainbow okay quickly plotting the key levels on the rainbow this would be the daily level top of the top of the rainbow bottom of the rainbow i am just uh, marking the highest and the lowest moving average from the pack okay for our chart here is the bottom that's the 200 moving average and the top right now it's irrelevant because it's actually the fast moving average is the 11 and the um, 3 I think so I will just leave it like that it looks like an open uh, an open uh, rainbow Rocky the white thick line is the 200 the white thick line is the, is the 200 and this um, orange even thicker line is the 200 on the immediately higher time frame so this is the 200 MA on the daily just um, um, placed here on this four, four hour chart uh, for reference All right. now let's um, see um, I'm not uh, actually interested in the directions at this point I'm simply interested in the key level I uh, find guys that uh, trading with the levels is sometimes uh, more um, rewarding than uh, trading with uh, directions in mind okay because uh, um, just watching the levels keeps your mind open regarding the direction personally I do not know where the market is going next okay uh, I'm just playing a probability game based on levels and based on certain factors that um, well in general more often than not um, give a higher probability for the direction to be continued okay or for um, a bounce uh, there so that means um, you do not want to stay attached to a certain idea market is going up market is going down okay that's not really important what's important is how much money you make when it's going up or when it's going down and how much money you lose when you are wrong okay and the levels will give you exactly that it will, they will give you the key level uh, they, they will give you even entries for instance right now we have support on two major time frames for hour and daily so you know that when one to three is breached both time frames will agree towards short okay now let's see what the one hour is suggesting okay using a different color for each time frame okay top of the rainbow is here 30 minutes looks like the top of the rainbow is about the same but I'm just placing it slightly higher to know that there are two levels here and here you go Rainbow is at the same point, placing it slightly higher. And it looks like there is no bottom for this rainbow. Price is already um, lower than um, the pack of moving averages. 
Guys, can you still see my chart and uh, is everything all right on your end? Just a quick confirmation. Because I've um, heard a weird sound in my um, speakers. Can I get confirmation, please, for uh, sound and uh, chart? Sound test, can everyone hear me? Oh, all right. Okay, thanks. I, it looks like I was disconnected there for a short while. Okay. One moment, please. Okay. All right. So right now we are in the position of looking at the big picture on, uh, let's say, on one-hour chart. Usually it's, uh, it's a good idea to look at a one-hour chart. And here you go. You have support resistance level, and the direction will be determined um, in just a moment. We'll, we'll, we'll be looking at the direction in the market. What uh, What is the actual trend that we're trying to follow, okay? Uh, in fact, let's do that right now. So we have a bearish trend on the daily. However, this is clearly a complicated area because price has been retracing up to the top of the rainbow. And we already had a bounce there and an attempt to break the bottom. So that means it's likely to have some uh, consolidation here. You you will not be shorting immediately uh, on the daily because you're, you can actually expect reactions back towards the top of the rainbow. The four hour chart is bullish, okay? Price is actually into um, the yellow um, area. That means the consolidation is not too uh, deep just yet. All right, so it looks like a bullish, um, a bullish trend still. You can see the 200 moving average. Oh, one hour EMA. Uh, are you talking about the 200 MA? Uh, One twenty-four. We're talking pound yen, right? Not euro dollar, right? Uh, G. This is a uh, linear weighted. Yeah, it's linear weighted. Maybe that's why. Probably you you have. A, oh yeah, uh, you are talking about an exponential. Yeah, that's it. That's the reason. Uh, the linear weighted uh, moving averages are following price, um, I would say, more closely. So uh, probably that's why. But I, I, I really cannot tell the reason why I'm using this. I, I guess I've been uh, very uh, used to to this rainbow since uh, well for a number of years now. So haven't really questioned the um, the settings. Okay, just one moment. All right, let's see the hourly. Again, we're looking at a bullish uh, trend on, an, on the hourly chart. So all these elements so far lead us uh, in to one direction. It's bullish on daily, bullish on four hour, bullish on one hour. So we will be probably, um, we will tend to uh, like longs more at this point uh, against these key levels. The problem is, this is a, the, a, the major midterm level and right here, the one, two, three, eighty-eight, and that's pretty far away from the price. So we'll have to use this one twenty-four fifty, which is an hourly, a one-hour um, time frame. Okay, it's not exactly um, it, well. It's not a great risk to reward, especially if you're trading with the, the main trend. It's nice to have, uh, let's say, a fifteen minute. Uh, setup that goes in the direction of the hourly and four hour and uh, and daily. Um, in our case, we're looking at long, but let's see if the 15 minutes and 30 minutes agree. 30 minutes is basically a mess. Okay, it's been consolidating but not bouncing off the the bottom of the rainbow. Price has breached below. Now it's drawing back um, at this level, so this might be a resistance point. Uh, 30 minutes doesn't give us much and not much of a direction either. Okay, only above 125. And finally, 15 minutes chart is bearish. Okay, 15 minutes chart is bearish with um, 
12490 right ahead and key level important level at 12510 so i think it's pretty clear right now what um, the rainbow is suggesting i would say a breach of 12520 i'm going to mark this with a different color white 12520 because at that level i will be pretty sure i'm going to use the let's say the white Okay, from this point, I'll be pretty sure that uh, the rainbow has uh, broken on 15 minutes, on 30 minutes, and on one hour. So I will I will know that it's been a breakout, and I will look for long. Okay, 125.20, starting here. Okay, um, that would put us in a comfortable position because 15 minutes, 30 minutes, and one hour will agree to the daily and four hour. And this is the setup that I would propose, okay? Long 125, just uh, write it down. Long at 125.20, or let me just say above 125.20. Stop will be at the key, the first key level that I see, 124.90, count another 10 pips from there, at least 10 pips, let's say 20, 124.70. Okay, that gives us a 50 pips um, uh, risk. Okay, and let's see where the target can be. There is nothing there. 126.50 is the target. 126.50, where am I getting that level from? From the daily chart. Okay, the top of the rainbow on the daily, 126.50. Okay, let me see. Okay, and... one twenty six. I say 40, just 10 tips uh, below that. Here you go. This would be the setup indicated by the rainbow at this point. Okay, a long uh, trade um, when the the rainbow breaks on the 15, 30 minutes and one hour. Okay, of course you can uh, buy even lower. Sometimes you, you have a breach of the key level that you're looking at, 125.10. Uh, the live trading system um, uh, signal is going long and sometimes I just like to enter on a pullback. If I get a pullback, I enter. If not, I just um, wait for another opportunity. Because I'm, I'm not really trading GJ so much. So if I miss a signal or I miss a trade altogether, I, I don't mind. Uh, but I do like to be uh, in at the right level. I, I, I like entering at, uh, at a good level. So I would know that at least um, if I am wrong, um, I'm going to take my, my loss very quickly. Now what do we have on the short side? Well, short would be signaled right around here, unless you want to wait for a 124.60. I would want to see this horizontal level broken. This is a horizontal level. It has nothing to do with the rainbow. Okay. It's just a horizontal level, uh, level of support. Um, on the other hand, you might not get the, the best risk reward if you wait all that long. In any case, guys, um, right now, the 15 minutes is against the hourlies and the daily chart. That means you're not in the best probability zone, okay? Um, it's always better to, to be with um, these charts in agreement, the 15 minutes and the 4-hour and daily. So... Um, let me check the five minutes just for um, the sake of the argument. Well, it looks like uh, indeed we had a bounce off this um, top of the rainbow on five minutes. Hmm. Okay. Well, I have to signal this for those of you uh, who don't mind the taking a risky, uh, a risky trade. This looks like an interesting short opportunity right here, right now, but the stop would have to be very, very tight. Um, I would suggest uh, 20 pips. 
As far as I'm concerned, it's, it's aggressive. It is with the rainbow, yes, and it is confirmed by the bounce at the, at the top of the rainbow on the 5 minutes. 15 minutes is also agreeing with it. So you have reasons. Definitely there are reasons to go, uh, to go uh, short here. But I'd rather, I don't know, I, I just feel like it's aggressive because I'm going against the hourly and the 4-hour and the daily, and those are pretty strong um, time frames. I don't usually like to be against them. All right. So yes, there is a an aggressive uh, setup short at 124.90 <clears throat> around here. Stop at 125.10, maximum 15, because basically 20 is uh, the reverse um, signal um, level. And the target, well, for the target, I would go for immediate target uh, 124.70 and 124.60, which is an hourly um, a rainbow level. Yeah, I guess these two um, are the, the levels I'm, I'm watching at this point. All right, any questions regarding uh, GJ? Okay. Doesn't seem like uh, there's anything uh, at this time. All right, just want to show you guys something. Um, this is basically a market pretty difficult for the rainbow. Now remember, remember that this um, template is a trend following. Uh, it's basically indicating the trend all the time, very accurately, but it will not um, give you the right solution if the market is doing this uh, choppiness. So here, officially, you are in in bullish territory, okay? I stopped uh, thinking uh, long starting at around this level, and because I had that analysis, um, this one, uh, telling me that this is a key level and I should be careful with um, continuing the trend. This is why it's good to complement the, um, to, to um, add to the rainbow something else, something that's not trend following and not based on lagging indicators, uh, the, the moving averages that is. So the rainbow is precise, but it's lagging, okay? It will tell you the right, it will give you the right picture at any point in time, but it will not predict what's happening next. So for that purpose, you see, having an analysis based on Fibonacci can be predictive because you have the Fibonacci's before price even gets there. So you know if you want to short aggressively, you evaluate your options at that point, okay? You can actually short exactly at the very top, okay? The rainbow will never give you that. Or you can take profit. That's uh, my favorite uh, way of using the rainbow. Keep with the trend. Stay with the trend for as long as, as you, you want. But if you see another level given by your horizontal analysis, that's saying something else, well, in that case, take profit. Because that's, as it, that there's nothing wrong with putting some money in the bank and um, just um, ensuring that your, your trade is profitable. There is obviously some uh, profit at the time because you, you are trading with the trend and the market is um, hitting fresh highs in our case here. So you will be definitely uh, in profit if you're trading the rainbow at this high. There's nothing wrong with uh, putting some uh, of that cash aside or adjusting a bit the money management, you know. Do some uh, management of the trade. That's uh, basically the, the idea. Market is pretty choppy lately. Um, had a um, hard time uh, since Monday with uh, ups and downs uh, on um, especially Euro dollar and Australian dollar, two pairs I'm usually trading, but well, uh, we're probably setting up for a new direction, so uh, these days we'll just have to be uh, extra careful, I guess. All right. Any questions, guys? Okay, just one moment. I'll be um, loading up this. Um... Oh, uh, since we have five minutes. Let me just um, have a look at the live data system right now. 
Uh, I wanted to have a quick uh, look at the live data system and show you guys what I have uh, at this point. Someone asked me a question on uh, Aussie dollar. Now, what I have actually short a short signal on uh, euro dollar and pound dollar. Pretty convincing. You can see the confluence of levels right here on the pound dollar, 5678, 5679, 15, 30, and one hour. You see the direction. They're all here. Okay, it's the same for the euro dollar. You have 2590, 2585, 97, 98, 92. So all these are within 10 pips distance. So you can use these as, um, as a signal to reverse or to to um, just to, to have a stop um, placed beyond uh, these levels. It doesn't look like Aussie dollar is, uh, has enough um, uh, momentum right now. My volatility filter says that um, it's not enough volatility in the market to take the trade and it's the, uh, basically the choppiness in the market is too high um, and it advises to stay out uh, but we have a very nice confluence of resistance levels at 0 to 82. So you can see that I can actually um, say something about the Aussie dollar even without looking at the chart. I know that there's a confluence of levels right here. So I'm actually interested in shorting if um, the signal goes short and this is still on. And basically if price is not too far away from these levels. Okay. Uh, very signal on GJ, very signal on Aussie, uh, on Euro Yen. Uh, dollar Yen is actually bullish. Okay, and uh, you can see the other uh, uh, pairs, uh, some crosses, uh, gold and silver, pretty, um, pretty much um, without uh, any direction. And that's, um, yeah, that's it. All right. Wrap it up uh, here. Unless um, there are any other questions, um, I will be uh, signing out. Hope you guys enjoyed the session. Uh, and let me know please if there are any questions. Uh, just uh, briefly, I will bring up um, this picture um, with my email address and my website address, just in case you want to check out the uh, live data system. The yes, uh, last chart in PDF. Uh, sure. Uh, gee, actually, if you just visit my website, it's uh, under analysis. Okay, just go to tipcenters.com uh, under analysis and check out the last um, the last report, the, the last technical analysis report, and you will see there the well the commentary from Monday, the chart as I published it on Monday, and you can zoom in, you can um, see the picture, and that would be uh, you can save it in, in PDF if you want. You can also sign up for those reports. They're um, completely free, and I, it's usually once per week um, with the the pair that I am um, I am offering for free. Just doing an analysis for the key levels as well, for um, for the members to to have um, both perspectives at the same time. Alrighty, have a great uh, end of week, guys. Hope you um, manage to get some pips um, until. Um, until the weekend. I'll see you on Monday. If there are any questions, uh, let me know. The um, email address and the website address are right here, so don't hesitate to contact me for anything. Have a great week. Thanks, and uh, happy 4th uh, of July.